Okay, so Midjourney V6 Alpha and Midjourney 5.2, the one that we all have used and we all know. So what are the differences and how to use V6, which is slightly different in terms of prompts. We will also have a look at the official Midjourney guideline to prepare the right prompt for V6 and I will also give you my tips after I've been using V6 for quite a few weeks. Okay, so let's jump in and let's see what I've got from the V6 version of Midjourney. Okay, so this is the first image of the set I am going to show you in this video of today. So, as you see, Midjourney V6 can do something really really nice you will see through the set how i have improved the photography let's call it photography of these images this one all in all is expressive and is very fashion i would say very believable if you take it as an example for you to be used in your photo shoot for your brand your products with of course a model as beautiful as this one going to the next one you can see already uh, ignore this because it was one of my attempt to uh, create something uh, different and uh, with the skin very specific but you can see this one through the prompt has improved tremendously if compared to this one because the skin is completely forgotten in this fo photo in terms of real realisticness instead of in this one is much more be believable <clears throat> sorry believable and it's very much like realistic because i mean this one looks like a photo it doesn't look like ai because everything is just realistic the nose the ears the eyes the eyebrows the skin the nails, the bag, the proportion, the fading here, all in all is good. So let's go to the next one. Oh, and by the way, I love the, uh, the lips. Next one. Okay, this one is much more fashion. Uh, it's much, I would say, much more modern than this one. This one is very much my DNA, my vision, the way I would uh, create a photo shoot for my brand and actually uh, the reason why I'm showing you this is because um, I do use my journey not to just take the images and put them on my website because I don't do that even if you could do that with some images what I do I use my journey to uh, amplify my vision like in this case you can see this is exactly a photo I would do in my campaign, my uh, photography with my brand. This one, and um, I decided to show you as well this one, but I'm not even gonna um, spend much time on this one because this one is way better. But you can see you go uh, with attempts, but you know, sometimes the photography or the image it might not be your cup of tea but in this case the lips are incredible i love the lips it's something that should be just reproduced in a, a, a photo shoot and you know used as a sort of uh, um, let's say a feature for your photography by the way it was intentional to have the double color of the lips but it was not intentional and um, having this kind of mirroring uh, with this kind of dark uh, silver top lip effect which is reflecting the bottom which is and um, which is amazing I love it and I would do this in my photo shoot right now so let's go to the next images and it's this one not too bad, you can see uh, V6 is kind of sometimes forgetting to put the nose here but you know the other photos like we have seen here and here the nose is much more believable. 
but you know um, I'm not gonna just take the, the images and you know place them on my website I'm just doing this for uh, for me to have an idea for my and um, quite a few ideas I would say for my next uh, photo shoot and as well uh, for you to understand the power of uh, uh, V6 by Midjourney. Again I love the lips. This one, the nose is slightly better. The lips are gorgeous, amazing and is very fashion, very believable. I'm going to show you a similar image to this one which is this which goes like from here, goes like to boom, fashion, screaming fashion, um, head to, I would say to toe, but head to fingers in this case, very, um, very cool, very realistic, apart the uh, hand here and uh, the rest of the arm, uh, but you know, the fingers are very realistic here. I love the kind of tribal lips with this kind of burning red. Uh, it's everything in this photo. And I love the bag, you know, uh, close to your face. Probably not too close because if you have makeup, the makeup is going to go on the bag. But I would replicate this image like right now in my photo shoot. Again, I love it. And obviously, you um, having a model that has this kind of vibe, this kind of look, amazing. This one, also nice, not too bad. Um, the nose is, mm, it can, can be better, but you know, if we're just using the photos um, for ourselves to uh, be inspired for photo shoots, photography, uh, fashion as well, why not? It's cool, it's fine. I love the expression all in all. I love the lips, the lipstick, this kind of uh, um, double color here is fantastic. Very nice expression, by the way, very cool. This one is, mm, it's nice, but this is fashion. This is a bit, is, it is fashion, but um, this one is more, is cooler. It's nice, nice expression. It can be as well a, let's say, something to uh, replicate in your photo shoot as well. You know, as an example for, um, for how you want the model to pose in your campaign shoots, etc. Next one. This one, I love it. I love the expression, I love the hand, I love the back uh, close to her face. This one probably is a mistake because it looks like the, uh, the zip of the back goes into the uh, area, but it doesn't matter. We're just looking at the model, the beauty, things like that uh, with time, uh, mid journey will, um, will improve on those things. But guys, the expression is, Super, super, super cool. The hand as well, wow. You see, this one is very different from the previous images. You know, sometimes you have to give it a go because when you give it a go, you might get something like this and then you get something like that. But to get to this point, of course, I've gone through this and then I've changed the, um, the prompt and I've got this one now next one this one not too bad I love the expression I love the fact that finally um, if you look at the previous images this one finally uh, the nose is coming to life and is looking more much more realistic very very nice um, I love the expression, I love the posing, but guys, this, this other ones, this is much more fashion than this. I mean, it's my cup, cup of tea. So we were here and we go uh, here now. Mm, we've seen better, but you see, 
Sometimes you see the nose and you don't see other details. So that's why it's good to give it a go and see um, what you're getting from the journey. All in all, it's quite fashion. Not too bad, but we've got better. Let me show you. This one is better. I, I, would, um, I would take this um, shot right away. Um, I love it. I, um, I love the makeup. I love the lipstick. I love the red bag close to her face. I love, I love the position of the hand. I love the uh, size of the earrings. I love the expression. I love everything. So I would replicate this image uh, right away. This one is also very nice. Not too bad. Um, I would say better than this. I mean, this this one is better than this. Okay, so this is the last one of the set, and uh, let me show you the set again. And I have to say, it's one of my favorite images of this set because it's very realistic. It is a, um, an image that I would reproduce right now in a studio um, as it is uh, with this kind of makeup, with this kind of uh, lips. I did like more the lipstick, uh, kind of more uh, fashionable we've seen in the other images, but this one as well is very fashion, very classy. You can twist it a little bit and all in all it's an incredible image created just with a prompt. Okay, this set instead is created with Midjourney 5.2 and let me briefly go through this set without um, stopping myself on many details just briefly to show you the difference. You can see the skin is marginally visible, but is much more visible in the set of the one created with V6. They are not bad at all, um, like I said, to be taken as an example for photography or anything like that. They are not bad at all, they are wonderful. But you can see the skin is completely different if we use Midjourney V6. Very nice anyway. Very nice, very nice expression. Very believable, but you can clearly see the difference between V6 and 5.2. Let me put two of these images side by side for you to um, see the difference. Okay, so as you probably remember, on this side we have V6 and on this side we have 5.2. I would say um, the difference is like very visible. They're both beautiful, but this one is almost a photo. Okay, so a very good suggestion if you want to have very high quality like the images I've been showing you, I highly recommend you to go to the picture you like, you select it, so once you have it on the screen like this, you go to upscale and it will make it very big in a very high quality. And another thing that is incredible is the very region option with which you can change, for instance, um, you can have a nose that is more realistic, you can change the lips color, you can change some detail, the color of the bag, the, the hearings, anything you like. Okay, very briefly, just in case you don't know yet how to activate the journey, V6 is very simple. 
you just need to type in your prompt area forward slash setting press enter and then you will have this window popping and then you can select mi journey v6 very simple have a look at the new guideline for v6 because everything is explained very simply on this page which is as you see here midjourney.ai and you can find all the tips and tricks to write a very efficient prompt so i mean i could read it for you but i guess it's best for you to uh, read it through and follow the instruction and you can see the kind of uh, um, the feature that you can apply that go really well with v6 and they are listed here as well have a look clicking on this larger prompt to see what they're saying about uh, very large prompts how to um, put them together what to say and especially the words that you should avoid that can confuse you know mid journey in producing your imagery these features instead i guess they are all available right now and in my video i've been showing you very how to use it etc as you see everything is explained here in terms of differences between the two and it's very easy to understand what uh, they're saying and on their website but again the best practice is always give it a go and see what works and what doesn't work because bear in mind this is still on a alpha version so it's not the official version yet okay guys so i really hope you have enjoyed the video of today and remember many other new videos are coming very soon about my journey and fashion photography and as well a fantastic combination which I'm filming very shortly, which is Vizcom AI with Mid Journey. And I will show you the amazing result that you can have from both of them together. So please subscribe, you will help me to grow this channel so I can help other fashion designers, emerging designers, independent brands, fashionista, fashionistas, sorry, people that like or would like to be involved in fashion, people that would like to work in fashion, they don't know what to do, how to do it, when to do it. So feel free to reach out if you need any tip. I will try to help you as much as possible. So stay tuned, subscribe, and ciao ciao for now from London.